facility for rare isotope beams, or EPRIM. This concert is part of an initiative called the Advanced Studies Gateway. The purpose of the Advanced Studies Gateway is to, quite simply, inspire people. We bring together researchers, innovators, creative thinkers, artists, and performers from all different fields, and we build ties between Michigan State University and the community, and I'm delighted to see so many people here today. Today we have the pleasure of Hang Kim and Zhao Wang perform a selection of wonderful French music for violin and piano, and read poetry by French symbolists who influenced the music of the late 19th and 20th centuries. Hang Kim made her solo Carnegie Hall debut at the age of 16, and has performed as a soloist with the Lansing Symphony Orchestra and the Tuskia Opera Fest Orchestra in Viterbo, Italy. She is a founding member of the Circulo Trio and holds degrees from the Manhattan School of Music and Michigan State University. Her past mentors include Lyman Bodman, Gregory Kalinowski, and Dmitry Berlinski. She has also served on the faculty of the Princess Galliani Vatana Institute of Music in Bangkok. Zhao Wang is currently the director of accompanying at the Central Michigan University School of Music. She has performed in many countries, including Germany, Italy, Spain, Canada, Thailand, Japan, China, and the US. She is also a founding member of the Circulo Trio and holds degrees from the Eastman School of Music and Michigan State University. She performs regularly at the Henry Selmer Summer Academy, the Interlochen Center for the Arts, the Music Festival at Walnut Hill, and Chengjian Chamber Music Series in China. Now let me please remind you to uh, silence your phones if you haven't done so already. And in the event of an alarm or other emergency, we should simply as exit through the door as you enter. And on the back of the program booklet, if you have one, sorry that we ran out today, uh, you will see information where you can sign up for email on future events. Now at this time, it is my great pleasure to welcome Hain Kim and Zhao Wang. so much for joining us today. I'm so thrilled to be here and to be able to share this program of uh, French music and poems with you together with my wonderful collaborator, Janice Chalouin. A big thank you to Dr. Lee and Dr. Cho for running this valuable concert series here at Brit. Thank you for hosting our concert today. And before we begin, I would just like to say a few brief words about the concept of this concert. The program today uh, focuses on an artistic movement from the 19th, late 19th and early 20th century France called Symbolism. Symbolism was a movement that rejected the rational and coldly scientific approach that was dominating the academic and intellectual circles of the time. And it turned toward a more allegorical and mythological way of understanding the human experience. Symbolism took inspiration from the world of the imagination, the world of fantasy, the world of dreams. It was a search for what the French call the au-delà, or the beyond, finding meaning in a rich inner spiritual life as a way to transcend the grim realities of living in an increasingly industrialized and modernized society. Each of the poems and pieces on the program today were influenced either directly or indirectly by symbolism by way of having been written either during or around the time that symbolism was at its peak. I've divided the program into six different sections. Each section conveys a different feeling or theme that I think are evoked by the poem and the music. I've also selected some symbolist paintings which I will be displaying during our performance of the music. As for the poems, I've decided to take a bilingual approach today. So some poems I'll be reading in French and some poems in English. This is so that uh, we can get a direct experience of the vivid imagery of these poems for an English-speaking audience, but also include a little bit of the sound of the French language, which of course is so integral to the beauty of the structure of these poems. 
The program will run around 60 minutes, a little bit over an hour. And it's meant to run seamlessly without any breaks. So we do ask that you hold your applause until the very end. But if at any point you need to get up during the program, please feel free to do so. Between sections would be just fine. So I hope that this will be a very sensory experience, that through the words, through the images, through the music and the sounds, we will all be transported into the colorful and evocative worlds that the symbolists were trying to explore. So now we will begin with our first poem by Paul Kathleen. Le ciel est par-dessus le toit, si bleu, si calme. Un arbre par-dessus le toit verse sa palme. La cloche dans le ciel qu'on voit doucement teinte. Un oiseau sur l'arbre qu'on voit chante sa plainte. Mon Dieu, mon Dieu, la vie est là. Simple et tranquille, cette paisible gomère-là vient de la ville. Qu'as-tu fait, au oh toi que voilà, pleurant sans cesse Dis, qu'as-tu fait, toi que voilà, de ta jeunesse
Thank you. 
to watch the blue mist of the night come on, the windows and the stars illumined one by one, the rivers of dark smoke pour upward lazily, and the moon rise and turn them silver. I shall see the springs, the summers, and the autumns slowly pass, and when old winter puts his blank face to the glass, I shall close all my shutters, pull the curtains tight, and build these stately palaces by candlelight. And I shall dream of luxuries beyond surmise, gardens that are stairway into azure skies, fountains that weep in alabaster, birds that sing all day of every childish and idyllic thing. A revolution thundering in the street below will never view me from my task. I shall be so lost in that quiet ecstasy. 
the keenest still, of calling back the springtime at my own free will, of feeling a sunrise within me, fierce and hot, and make a whole bright landscape of my burning thought. Thank you. 
je suis belle au mortel. Comme un rêve de pierre et mon sein, où chacun se meurtrit tour à tour, est fait pour inspirer au poète un amour éternel et muet, ainsi que la matière. Je tronc dans l'azur comme un sphinx incompris. Je mis un cœur de neige à la blancheur des signes. Je hais le mouvement qui déplace les lignes. Et jamais je ne pleure, et jamais je ne ris. Les poètes, devant mes grandes attitudes, que j'ai l'air d'emprunter au plus fier monument, consumeront nos jours en d'austères études. Car j'ai, pour fasciner ces dociles amants, de purs miroirs qui font toutes choses plus belles, mes yeux, mes larges yeux, aux clartés éternelles.
Neath the blue crystal bell of my listless melancholy, all my formless sorrows hold me, sink to rest, and all is well. Symbols all, the plants entwine, water lilies, flowers of pleasure, palms desirous, slow with leisure, frigid mosses, pliant vine. Mid them all, a lily only, pale and fragile and unbending, imperceptibly ascending in that place of leafage lonely. Like a moon, the prisoned air fills with glimmering light where through rises to the crystal blue, white and mystical, its prayer.
Madame Henri Rousseau monte un ballon captif. Elle tient un orbisseau et le douanier Rousseau prend son apéritif. L'alo est gonflé de lune et l'arbre à fauteuil et ce beau costume et la belle lune sur les belles feuilles. Le lion d'Afrique, son ventre court comme un sac au pied de la République. Le lion d'Afrique Dévore le cheval de fiat. La lune entre dans la flûte du charmeur noir. Il y a des gars endormis, écoute, et ils sortent de la douce flûte en morceaux en forme de bois. Thank you. 
The music that is inside me. The music that is in silence, in potential. May it come and amaze me.